Okay. All right. All right. Got a lot of issues getting this going. Uh, and I'm once again back in San Francisco. And by popular demand, I have gotten rid of the prison wall background. Uh, now we have my room, which isn't fully set up yet. We also don't have really good lighting. Uh, but I guess you guys can just bear with me for now. I'll get the lighting all set up and I can deal with my, my purpley face. Do I look purple? No, I'm just kind of like, yeah. I, actually, it's okay lighting. Okay. Today, I think I know what we're going to do. I'm going to load up a solar system simulation. And I want to see what would happen if we had all of our planetary neighbors into some kind of unified system where they are close by and we can travel to and from. So let's say we took Mars and we colonized, or yeah, yeah, we colonized Mars or we terraformed Mars, or we took Venus and we colonized and terraformed Venus. And then we had like a trinary system of Earth. We had a trinary system of Earth, Mars, and Venus. And maybe anything else, maybe the moon as well. Venus doesn't have any moons. I don't think Venus has any moons, surprisingly. Uh, but yeah, let's just see if like what, how, what kind of crazy system we can get. So first, I am going to delete our planets over here, Venus and Mars, because we don't need them anymore. And I'm curious to see if that would actually affect anything in the solar system. Maybe that will throw Earth's orbit off slightly, and then it will go catapulting into the solar system. Because maybe Mars and Venus were just throwing everything, and we're keeping the balance there in the solar system. And now everything's been thrown off. And we'll go right into the sun and everyone's gonna die and we're gonna be so sad i'm gonna make venus orbit earth why does venus look larger than earth no venus is just a little bit smaller than earth they're very comparable in size i think like the mass of venus is about 90 something percent of earth but i am going to make venus a little far out maybe about that far out it's a little bit closer than the moon so mars will orbit venus and then venus will orbit earth what if I do something weird like, let's make the moon orbit Earth. Yes, because we have to have a moon base like in this trinary system. Now we've got the Earth-Moon system. No, we have the Earth-Moon-Venus-Mars system. <laughs> All in our backyard. And the first step here to call it making our big planetary colony in the solar system is to test to see whether or not the orbits are stable. So let's see if they are stable can do this come on make one full revolution around earth please okay 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 everything's going good this is working out surprisingly well and it's very hard to see the motions of all this because everything is of course all of this is just traveling around the sun so it's it's kind of looking very skewed like they're just kind of their own individual orbits around the sun but really venus the Venus-Mars system is orbiting the Earth-Moon system. When you think about it, it's probably none of this is probably livable because the center of mass of this system is probably somewhere in here. Because if you think about it, uh, it's actually probably right in the center because Venus is a little bit smaller than Earth or a little bit, it's a little bit less massive than Earth, but it has a large moon, which is Mars, which makes up for that lost mass. You have Earth, which is much more massive than Venus, but it has a smaller moon than Venus. Which means it probably will, at the end of the day, iron itself out to be somewhere around the middle, the center of mass. So, the gravitational pull... <laughs> I don't know, how would that work? Depending on where you are on the planet, would the gravitational pull of that system end up making you float towards the center of the system? Or would you just stay on the planet because you're so close? Maybe you'll just stay on the planet because you're so close and there'll just be extreme earthquakes. But I would think that you would just kind of go, Oh shit, now I'm just kind of hanging out over here right in the middle of the system. But maybe I don't know my gravity. That's probably not how gravity works. But anyways, this is seemingly stable. We have a seemingly stable Earth, Moon, Venus, Mars system. And now the next step is to colonize them. So let's do that and let's slow everything down. So, to terraform Mars, we need to have a thicker atmosphere. So climate is at minus 46.1 degrees Celsius. Atmospheric mass, uh, actually no, let's do the pressures. How many Pascals? Let's just do, let's try and get one atmosphere. And that's the mass that will change. Okay, so we have one atmosphere that'll probably get lost in space just because it's a much 
less massive planet. And we just, I just waved my wand here. No, we have actually, no. This stuff was all done by the work of man. We launched Mars missions and we transported oxygen and more and nitrogen just to create a perfect atmosphere. We totally did that. And I don't even ask how we got Mars over here. We pushed the planet very, very far. And it took a lot of rocket fuel. This is like the year 2017 because we accomplished this then. We're making some progress with Mars. It's still incredibly cold. Like, what is the average surface temperature? Minus 6 degrees Celsius. And it seems like it's stabilized at minus 6 degrees Celsius. I need it to go to above freezing. I want to have smaller poles. I want to actually have legitimate oceans. And I would love to turn this into more, uh, you know, trees everywhere. But this doesn't seem to be working out. What's going on? What's going on? What's this? What's this? Slow this down. Hold on. What is this green right here that I am seeing? Is that... What is that? Uh, I've added some organics, and I don't know if this greenish tint on the planet means that we are actually terraforming the planet to have life. Life on Mars, although we still have a very reddish-looking atmosphere. I don't think we should have that. All right. I will leave the planet the way it is. Now... We have to deal with you, Mercury. Mercury has an insanely crazy, crazy atmosphere. Surface temperature is 492 degrees Celsius. It should cool down a little bit just because it is further from the sun from uh, what it's used to. But we still need to decrease this atmosphere by a lot. Let's just change this to one atmosphere. See what happens. All right, bring down that atmospheric mass. It's really interesting. I don't know if that's just Venus reflecting on Mars, or where is Venus? Venus is right there. Okay, no, that is actually on the surface. Mars has green. We are seeing green on Mars. Venus is has its atmosphere dissipating. We can actually see the surface a bit. I think that this is, I think this is the key to the greenhouse effect right here, is this thing called albedo, or uh, yeah, albedo, which I think has to do with uh, the atmosphere retaining heat. So I think if we drop this down to about Mars levels, the one I had, the setting that's on Mars is about 0 0.25, and we were at 0 0.75, maybe we, we can lose some temperature. Ooh, actually, the temperature went to minus 7 degrees Celsius. What if we drop it some more? Ooh, here we go. The effective temperature, we can get it to, what if we just did like 0 albedo? We can get this to 12 degrees Celsius, the effective temperature. If we just have no albedo and we have the atmosphere the way it is so i really want to speed things up now and let this planet cool down and then we could have terraformed venus although we need to get rid of the co2 because it's probably like almost 100 percent co2 uh but i don't think we'll have raining metal anymore i don't think we're gonna have me metallic capped ice caps or uh what is it metallic snow capped uh mountains that are in venus that's going to be no more. I want it to be a more Earth-like planet. So what the hell happened to the planet here? The atmosphere is still one atmosphere, but now I don't see shit on this planet. What happened here? What's the materials? What are we looking at? We're at mostly silicate. Can I add some water to the place? Yes, yes, okay. So there's water right there. Now we need to get rid of... Let's make a little bit more of an iron core. Two, let, me, uh, let me get rid of this... Yo, look at that. Look how Venus looks like when you don't have the atmosphere. But I want there to be the atmosphere, but I don't want it to look that thick. And it shouldn't be that thick. Why do we have this? Okay, let's turn it back down to one atmosphere. Uh, greenhouse effect is 109 Celsius. What the hell? Okay, turn down that greenhouse. Oh, here we go. When we turn down the greenhouse effect, we actually can reduce it. Okay, sweet. So there's Venus. There's Venus with a much lighter atmosphere. The water is actually, for some reason, uh, evaporating. The surface temperature is going down. I don't know why when I turn when I try and change this greenhouse effect thing, it keeps making the planet go really, really hot. But if I wait long enough, the surface temperature will disappear, and we should have a nice terraformed Venus with a terraformed Mars orbiting said terraformed Venus, which is orbiting already terraformed Earth. Well, it's not really terraformed, it's just orbiting, you know, Earth. But, let's do a little bonus right here. Let's 
terraform the moon. And I really want to know what that would look like. So the moon is, what's the temperature of the moon? One degree Celsius. That's not too bad. It's, it's a little bit to work with. No atmosphere. What if, let's just say theoretically we put one atmosphere on the moon. What would happen? And, oh, the atmospheric mass is one kg. Whoops. No, I want one atmosphere. For the moon. <laughs> All right, moon. You now have a breathable atmosphere that is probably getting lost in space like crazy. And it's heating up. Two degrees Celsius? I mean, this is already livable. Now let's just add some water to the place. All right, moon. You're going to be livable. Oh, oh, that's actually badass. The way the moon looks with water. It's basically, yeah, like those big craters that we all see at night. They just fill up with water. Can I do a little bit more? I want like a giant ocean for the place. That might be a little too much water. It's just the water moon. And then you have all of these craters carpet bombed right here. Okay. I think I am satisfied with this right here. So that's going to be our ocean. And then I really wish right here was filled up because it's a dark spot. It looks like it's supposed to be a little bit more lower elevated. So we have big, this big, massive continent. We have some craters that are filled up with water. And yeah, there's our water moon. <laughs> and where's the Earth? Okay, so orbiting the Earth. Has Earth changed at all of all this stuff? Uh, climate, surface temperature is 24 degrees Celsius. Wasn't it at like 14 by the fault? Uh, maybe Earth is being affected by all these planets. So you got Venus's atmosphere that's getting progressively lost to space. That's so cool, though. Just imagine that. You're or you're just on Earth, and you're at home. You look up into the sky, and you can see another planet that's completely inhabited by life. And then you see another planet that's slowly orbiting that planet that also supports life. And then you got a moon in the sky that's really close by that also supports life. It's just one big, happy community in space. And, of course... We got to have our asshole friend who just wants to stop by. And I'm going to make him orbit right here. Pluto! Pluto is torn between the two families. Pluto doesn't know if he wants to orbit Earth or if he wants to orbit Venus. So he's going to have to choose. But first, before Pluto starts colliding... Oh, shit. Um, hello? Uh, how did that affect everything? So now, that wasn't supposed to happen, by the way. <laughs> Our asshole friend has decided to choose the Earth. But when he chose the Earth, he decided to destroy the Earth. So now, hopefully the people on Earth have, you know, left and they fled to Venus. Maybe they saw Pluto in the sky and they were like, Oh no, launch the rockets! And now everyone is living on Venus and everyone is now like oh shit this is the main planet now and that asshole planet over there can't support life anymore now we have to do all the dirty work and then they blow themselves up by having another Pluto get fired into them and then Mars dies too okay no, uh, Mars dies too come on hit it hit it hit it nope Mars dies too Mars dies too Mars dies too thank you all right I think I'm done. That was a very nice experiment. So you can do that. You can make all three of those planets orbit. So I will see you guys later.